Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forestry 2017, the simulation. Yes, indeed, we're back here with our big dog Ed and his little sled and we're dragging logs. I've ended up, I'm just as you can see, broken the $7,000 barrier, so we're momentarily here going to buy our new piece of quit kit, sorry, and uh, try some tractor logging. But what I've been doing, as you can see, we've had to go all the way back up to the top of that hill pretty much now to get any trees. The sides are both cleared out, the original area, all of that. So yeah, I spend uh, half the day dragging lumber down to the road, and I usually spend the other half of the day dragging it from the road to the mill. Now, I've had a few hours to play this game now. In fact, well, more than a few. I, I was going to look at what Steam said, but I found them so bizarringly inaccurate that it's almost not worth doing. But a word of warning, you are going to grind. This game, to start, to get to where I am now, which basically, I mean, we do have our tractor somewhere. Ah, there it is, good. <laughs> Oh, I was going to go, I'm not going to grind for that a second time. But yeah, and now we will, as I said, have ah, our piece of gear. That's what I was kind of waiting for. Make sure that I have the money I need for the kit we want. Plus, uh, the day's rental for our garage. Now, I figure I probably would have saved myself, let's say, an hour had I not bought the garage until I actually knew I had the money for a tractor and a suitable bit of kit to go with it so but of course you can't really tell that until you actually own the garage because you have no idea how much you'll need to buy said tractor and such I guess I could have brought that with me there it is There we are. Let's bring it on over here. Woo, this makes our big dog look like a slow pony. Alright. It has incredibly lousy brakes. <laughs> Alright, so what I want to buy is um, this guy. Yeah. Alright. Achievement unlocked. Trailer. Woo. <laughs> really? Okay. There we go. Um, not sure where that's going to be. Nope. Over this away. Huh. Okay. Um... Can buy vehicles here. Well, that's nice. What I'd kind of like is uh, figure out where the bit of kit that I bought ended up. Well, what the heck, man? Let's have a look at our map. Okay. I see our tractor. I see our horse. I don't see anything else. Harvester. Hook shaped thing. Hmm. Well, um... Pretty sure we bought it. I seem to be out the uh, amount of money. Hmm. Alright. Well, where... Where did you put it? grab the tractor and see what we can figure out here so yeah the game is definitely um, well what I refer to 
probably is padded in other words you have to do uh, many 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 hours of grinding because well I guess there's not really when you get down to it a ton of content um, is what the deal is I mean we know we don't have much in the way of uh, equipment and there is basically you're doing this one thing now I've had a couple of notices come up with things like uh, you know you should open your home office you should open a office at the mill these sort of things and that's uh, that's all fine and dandy but it can end up being like uh, like it was with the garage where all it was was really an awful lot of money being wasted until such time oh the rotation is so slow um, you know until such time as you can actually make money with it and that was certainly an issue alright I have no idea at all groceries and fuel I don't think we actually need fuel wow the uh, frame rate here is a little bit nasty too <laughs> but hey we've never actually driven around the place so I guess we might as well have a tour as we look for our lost equipment wow it gets such lag spikes that it's almost hard to control the vehicle oh my goodness you see that dropping from 50 frames to 8 frames from turning the corner not very oh my holy smokes that's just crazy the frames are just zipping around with every single shadow change so yeah not very well optimized I guess would be the simplest way to put that and I'm not terribly surprised there's been com absolutely no support for the game since release um, they at one point when the game first came out I guess a lot of people were getting a straight up black screen and uh, they did address that with the one and only patch that this game has actually received so beyond that no there there's absolutely zero activity in the forums from the developers or the publishers or anything like that so uh, Huh. Maybe this is my fault. Equip. And... Whoa! <laughs> that was such a... Oh, there we go. We've got our piece of gear. Of course, now it's too bloody dark to use it. So, hmm. Well, let's get some lights on. Really? This doesn't have backlights. That was one of the things I was really hoping for. I mean, they didn't have any way for me to hook a flashlight up to the back of Ed, so. Let's see what happens here, guys. Hmm. Whoa. Yeah, the brakes are absolutely horrifying on this thing. Okay, switch to work mode. Ooh, look at that. Now, move arm. Okay. Raise arm is done with the triggers. Ah, let's see. Um. Okay, why is that now? Oh. That's these ones, I see. Yeah, it's... Whoa! It's doing things by itself, I'm afraid. Yeah, I just absolutely can't see anything at all, guys. <laughs> so that's pretty much useless. Um, yeah. Wow. That's... 
<laughs> that's just really unfortunate. But, um, yeah, there, there's no way for me to accelerate the game or anything like that either. I mean, I guess my choice at this point is just simply... Uh, well, we've only got, I don't know, a couple of minutes until it uh, flips over anyways. So, yeah, definitely a lacking point. There's no rear light on this tractor. Um, wow. And the frame rate is, oh, absolutely horrible. Yeah, that doesn't help. You might as well not have lights. Yeah, I just absolutely cannot see anything down there. But we have one hour, which is only a couple of minutes in real time before it switches to daytime. We're going to uh, absolutely do nothing but lose money here today. <laughs> you can't even see the crane arm, for God's sake. Come on. There it is. Why they didn't provide lighting on the back of the tractor? I mean, does that make any kind of bloody sense at all? <laughs> you know, switch lights on. All right. You know, is there any other light? Nope, on or off. That's it switch to work mode it just puts those down and now you no longer have control of the tractor all right here we are next day finally Ooh, ah. all right so let's see if we can figure this out shall we Come on. The controls are really unintuitive for this. Um. Oh, really? Well, that's weird. See, I didn't do that. It automatically extends that in and out. See, I'm trying to get it to go down. Um, <laughs> unbelievable. Oh, come on. That's the uh, grab log motion, by the way. Up. Oh, God, the controls are terrible. Oh. actually have this one. Ooh, look at that. We picked up a log. Oh my god. Oh, now I'm not making it do that. It's doing that all by itself. As soon as you reach some sort of a point, it just decides it needs to automatically, uh, that's not what I wanted. So that brings it in, kind of. Let's swing it around. Oh, it's kind of neat. It does sort of auto-rotate it. No, nope, wrong way. Oh, 
Oh my god, guys, we got a log. It only took us about three times as long as it would have to have brought Ed over here. <laughs> oh, see, so yeah, it's a weird combination with the... Uh, your right stick is actually moving your camera. The left stick only moves... Well, it moves in and out, but then there's that. When you get a certain distance, it'll automatically extend the boom. Then your triggers make it actually go up and down. Now, and that, your bumpers make it go in and out. There doesn't, oops, what the heck happened there? Oh, great, I seem to be, ugh. What? <laughs> and now we're back, okay. Yeah, there's some real oddities, and there doesn't really seem to be Well, any way to turn that head? See what I mean? Like, it's just... Oh! Well, when I went to capture the log, it kind of automatically turned it. That's weird. So, I suppose... After uh, a few days worth, you could probably get the hang of this. Um, oh God. probably <laughs> it's uh yeah really not terribly intuitive I'm afraid there we go now we should be back in tractor mode I know two logs is pretty pathetic but I want to find out if they'll stay on the trailer whoa okay they will zip about so I would advise... Oh, the frame drops are horrifying. There we go. Whoa! Uh, you'll probably want to set up a dead zone too with that little bit of weight behind there. The steering on the tractor is absolutely bizarre. It's incredibly sensitive. Now... Ah, oh, good. Can I simply... Yes, I can. So there you go. At least you can... Oh, and then the camera suddenly switches to some other view. At least you can offload all your logs at once. We made our day's rent, but it did... T <laughs> There's the camera going all by itself again. Um, it did take us pretty much all day. So I wanted to show you guys that. Um, oh, the, the frame dive, that's incredible. I mean... For the amount of detail and what's going on here, my video card should be driving this thing at a steady 60. Um, like you can see, it's dropping into like 8, 10 frames in some places. So, But I wanted to show you guys that you can, in fact, uh, you know, tractor farm here, as it were. But uh, boy, oh boy, <laughs> they could uh, stop. They could have better controls. So there you go. It's been another look at Forestry 2017, the simulator. Hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of this particular game, let me know. Oh, it's a... And, uh, well, <laughs> this has been Species 7. Take care of each other, folks. We'll catch up with you next time. Ciao for now. Oh, that was an experience.